Usually when I tell that I am a gardener, people say, oh great, such a nice hobby. Most people think I do it for fun. And it is true that I like and enjoy gardening. Fun is not the main reason I do it for. Some do gardening to save money on the produce they buy and also to have varieties that are not available in supermarkets. I definitely enjoy growing produce that cannot be found in the stores, but my main reason why I garden is the nutritional value of the food. After all, we eat vegetables for health, right? We assume that vegetables we buy are full of vitamins and nutrition necessary for our health. That's why people go to farmers markets because they try to get the freshest produce possible. Farmers markets are more expensive than regular stores, but the produce is fresh. Usually farmers are picking their vegetables the same or the day before of the market. Unfortunately, that's not the case with the produce in supermarkets. Fruits and vegetables grown in North America may spend up to five days in transit before arriving to distribution center and then another three days on a grocery store shelf before they're purchased by the customer who may then store them up to like seven days prior to consumption. That's more than two weeks from the time of harvest to the dinner plate. And vegetables lose between 15 and 77% of the vitamin C within one week of harvest, according to a study done by University of California. Spinach can lose 90% of its vitamin C content within 24 hours of harvest, according to Penn State University. There are a ton of studies that show all of the produce loses half or even more of its nutrients after harvest, like a few days after harvest. Every day that it spends in transit or our fridge, it loses more and more nutrition. That's why it's the best to grow your own food and consume it right away. If you are about to make salad, then go pick it right before making that salad. If something has to be harvested and a lot of it in the same time, then don't just let it lay around. Freeze it or preserve it some other way. By freezing vegetables or fruits right after harvest, you are able to preserve most of its nutrition. Frozen produce may contain even higher levels of certain nutrients if you freeze it right after harvest compared to the produce that was just sitting in the fridge for a while. And this has been mostly seen in studies that compared frozen produce with fresh vegetables that were stored at home for a few days. Another potential source of nutrient loss has to do with whether produce was ripe at the time it was picked. Certain crops, such as tomatoes, for example, can be picked before their full ripeness, and the fruit may attain a full color after picking, but it will never attain the highest nutrient levels. And according to the Harvard study, the total vitamin C has been shown to be much, much higher when the tomato is picked ripe from the vine versus unripe. When tomatoes are grown for sale, because of the transportation issues, they have to be picked unripe and ripen on the way to the supermarkets. But when you grow your tomatoes at home, you can pick them exactly when they ripen. Nutritional value of the vegetables and fruits we're buying from grocery stores 
has decreased、um, over time, also due to degrading soil health and increased use of fertilizers and pesticides. So, not only the nutrition is being lost due to、uh, long transit after the harvest, it barely has any nutrition. Because of the poor state of the soil that's been depleted with every single year. So, the produce doesn't have much of the nutrition to begin with, and then it loses whatever is left during transit and by sitting on the supermarket shelves. That's why I garden to have fresh produce right. Beyond my table, so I can go and pick it anytime I need it on demand. And I don't want to pick a lot of it and just have it sitting around my house. I go and pick right before dinner to enjoy the freshest produce with most of its vitamins in it. I also care about soil health in my garden. I do not use any pesticides. Or、um, fertilizers that were made in a lab. I try to stick with organic fertilizers that are good for the soil because it's important for me to know that I am eating produce that doesn't have any chemicals in it. What about you? Why do you garden? What's the main reason you do it for? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video.